I'll do one with live, Clive. Ray Gilbert again. All right, Sam. Crusty. Yes, man. <laughs> so we're going to do a little vlog today. Um, I've got Ray in the car, so I thought I'd put this over him. People have asked me to give my opinions on this. So I'm going to say my little bit, but, you know, I, I've got someone here, so let's use him. I don't mean use you like that. You know what I mean, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, couple of names, Ray. Um, Levi Bellingfield, Belfield, yeah. and Michael Stone. So if you're not from this country, Belfield, uh, not a nice person, serial killer. Michael Stone, again, labelled as serial killer. There's a possibility that Belfield committed the crimes that Michael Stone's locked up for. Yes, it's a possibility. Firstly, did you ever come across either of these two? I come across Michael Stone in Full Sutton Block. Uh, I think it was 2000. Uh, did you get to speak to him? I spoke to him once out, out of the window. You're protesting your innocence. He's protested his innocence. Is that what you discussed? No, uh he actually knew my co-worker, so he was trying to uh, run me down. Uh, but you're in the block, so you can't really say nothing in the kind of cells we, we were in. But uh, yes, if he's, fight, he's fighting his innocence, what's come out should be reviewed. Well, this is what I ask you. I'm going to give my take on it. This is, this is what I'm thinking in regard to you, yeah? We won't know. Well, we're right. So, first of all, I don't think the authorities, uh, the authorities are interested whether Belfield did these crimes or not, because for me, if if he did, I don't know how they prove it. If there's DNA evidence, yeah. uh, if if he gives a confession and mm. tells them things that only someone could know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if if that happens, then me. I would like to see uh, Michael Stone's trial dramatised. I would like to see how he... Because he was... Was he convicted twice? He was, yes. Two trials. He was convicted twice of these murders. And if, if it is proved that he is innocent, I would like to see how we convicted an innocent man of a crime he didn't do. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... I've looked at that, I mean, if there's DNA, right, the stuff there that they haven't tested, the CCRC, which we say is the Criminal Cases Review, Review Body, is supposed to have the power to conduct investigations. Now, whether they get off their backside and investigate properly, don't know. I've been back there five times, and the fifth time only lasted four or five months, so you come back with an answer. Now, we've asked them repeatedly to do the DNA, for your case. For my case. Yep. So if the stuff there that can uh, assist, okay, if the DNA comes back and it's it's negative on them, right, what Belfield says, what he said in the statement, needs to be ex examined. you got all these people saying, oh, no, he's just doing it because he wants to put the family through more... Puts the family through grief and yeah, also yes. puts the spotlight back That's on right. him, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. But... That isn't okay. He might be doing that, but the fact he said what he says, you've got a man who's for 20 odd years has been saying he hasn't done it, right? Someone else, they, they wouldn't have come across each other. They might have, like, known in, in, in a block somewhere. He might have been both being in a block, but there's no way they would have been communicating with him. Stones on normal location, Belfield's not. Has Belfield never been on normal location? Well, that, I, I don't know. He's in Franklin. He's on the, what you call, the 43 wings. Stone is What's up the 43 on, wings? Is that the VP wings? VP wings. Sex offenders, yes. vulnerable prisoners. Michael Stone's up on the two normal wings, up up on the, on the sports field. So, there's no way he could collude. You know what I mean? So, it does need to be looked at. The CCRC was formulated, uh, I think it was 1987, there was a department in the home office that used to look at cases. Mine was one of the 50 odd cases that went there first when it when it got formed. It used to be under another body, did it not? Yes, it used to be under a body in the home office. I think it was called C2 or C3. 
three department. They've transferred the cases they had to the CCRC. Now, the object of the CCRC, any cases of doubt, refer them back, but they're acting as judge, jury, and prosecution. So any case that the is something doubt about it put it back to the appeal court and let the judges decide do, do they not do that do they give their verdict on things yeah they actually do yeah they, when you're asking them for stuff i mean i had a psychological profile done in uh, 2000 for the ccrc and she come up with oh, so many different things personality issues childhood issues which could have, have affected me uh, and uh, we asked them to do their own Psychological report, no. DNA, I mean, okay, we unearthed so much stuff uh, people found, so we don't even know if there's anything else still out there which is not being... You've uh, uncovered that yourself, haven't you? With help, yes. And uh, Stone's case needs to be looked at proper. I mean, the man could go for parole. There's not I mean to say he's not going to get it or he is going to get it the fact is he's fighting it he can go up okay he hasn't done no coursework or i i assume Ex not. explain that again on your oasis report your sentence report you're expected or it, it is a plan isn't it yeah it's for you to plan. follow that's yes. supposed to lower your risk that's right yes so he's done none of that well, I, I i can only assume because he's fighting this case he hasn't done nothing i i Sure, I've read something that his sister has written, I believe, saying he won't be going for parole this year because that would be admitting guilt. No, it's not. Because you know what? I went up 12 times, right? And uh, most of the time I went up, it was my institutional behaviour that actually got me knocked back. At the end of the day, the turn answers, your case isn't an issue because we're aware of your stance. It's not a block to parole. Right. You know what I mean? W so in the was end, it never a block to parole? Uh, well, it, it could have been, you know what I mean, uh, early on. But if you're going through a, a sentence like this and you're constantly saying, I haven't done it, someone's got to sit there down the line and say, hang on, this man's been in 21 years and he's saying he hasn't done it. So someone's got to take note of that because you're like that, whoa, he's maintaining steadfastly he's innocent. So there's got to be something in it. I mean, a man could have go up for parole, doesn't want to because he thinks it's going to be held a, a, a against him. I mean, they're not supposed to hold it against you because if they do, you could take them to court for the judicial review of their decision. You know what I mean? To say no. You know what I mean? So he could go for it, but he's chosen not to because he's saying, I haven't done this crime. I want my name cleared. I had people helping me for years, and in the end, it was people outside who said to me, look, just shut your mouth, behave. You can fight it better outside where you've got more resources uh, available. Man's innocent, okay? The family's suffered his family suffered he's lost some of his family you know what i mean which is hard i lost me brother lost me dad i've lost did several... you go to the funerals uh i actually went to me dad's me brother they didn't let me go uh the chaplain at the time on the special unit at woodhill fucked up he used to it was his responsibility the day my brother died i actually got jumped on by the screws and wrapped up because of him the post have been taking me out to the aussie and I didn't go because he fucked up. But anybody who's fighting that length of time, someone's got to sit back and think, hang on, something's not right here. Why would someone who had the opportunity to go for the review, you know what I mean? Because he'd have to probably go up and then he's still cat you know what I mean? So before he goes anywhere, he needs to get off that book, you know what I mean? So actually, Is Michael just... Stone still a cat I think so, yeah. Why does he still have to cat after all that time? It's because of the notoriety of the case. Because it's, all, it's in the public right, domain. Yeah, okay. Right, Regular, right? They don't like it. I mean, if your face is in the public domain, it's like to them, it's rubbing salt in, not just to them, but rubbing salt into the victim's family's wounds. I, they, they've got no resolution. You know what I mean? It's like, is he guilty? Isn't he? Then they've got to ask themselves questions. Well, if he's been fighting this long, there's got to be something there. No, I mean, there's got to be something there because you wouldn't be doing it like that. 
this long. But do you, do you think the authorities, on all seriousness, are actually interested in getting to the bottom of it? Because, like I say, it, well, all, hopefully, hopefully, this does get look and they get a resolution, whatever it is. But if he's found to be innocent, what I'm saying is. They need to go back and yeah, yeah. They, they need to look how we've managed to put someone away for life. Yes, they do. But you know what? They've been doing it for years. They have the Birmingham 6, the Guildford 4, the the Maguire 7, the M25 3, the Carl Bridgewater 3, uh, the Cardiff 5, the original, the Cardiff 3, uh, these other cases. Why hasn't the justice system learned? It hasn't. You know what? They have to go away and change the entire judiciary from top to bottom so these things don't happen i've heard it i've read and seen it before that it's better to have 10 innocent people in prison than find the real guilty person well and that's the way they the, do the, the other thing from the law point of view the police point of view isn't it that 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 case is then ticked off in it it's yes. not an unsolved murder no it's not but then look at the cases that have been overturned there's never been no reinvestigation of them cases well, then someone's they, they, when someone's got won an appeal so why not i mean if someone's won an appeal it's like my case right saying he's innocent right but they're saying i'm i'm not but they're saying it's more than a one-man crime it's never been reopened why but, but again there's no in you know that's it the way we conduct murder investigations or whatever, what people have said, there's no percentage going back, is there? So if someone's been convicted, um, you obviously know absolutely everyone where the cases have been yes. overturned. Yeah. They, they're just not interested in the fact that somebody was convicted, the evidence, yeah. the process, the court yes. process, yes. prosecution, whatever. They're not yeah. interested in that, are they? No, no, because then it will... Because it shows that the system is shite. Yeah, it will... it's, it's a sham. It just then shows that they don't care. They've got a, a body, that body's away, that's it. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter to them if the fella's not guilty at all. They don't care. They've got someone, that's it, excuse me, and, excuse the case, and the case has been solved as far as they're concerned. But then come along, say, he's fighting. Someone's now decided to say, yes, it was me. Now, whether he's telling the truth or not, he's made a fucking statement. Look at it. Take that statement. The CCRC now should get that evidence and go and get off their asses and go and see him and review the evidence. Go and get the stuff that they need to test for DNA and see if it's in. If his DNA is not there, well, then you've got to ask questions, haven't you? Was he? Uh, did he have himself wrapped up or or whatever? But if you, if your DNA is not there, it's either one or two things. You didn't do it, or you covered yourself up. Know what I mean? And it needs to do, do you think that body, I, I can't say it, is it CR? Criminal Cases Review Commission is not worth a toss. Well, what, what I'm thinking is like, um, it's like people investigating itself. It's like the police complaints commission uh, and things like that. Well, you could say most of the people are on that uh, group when it first got formed was prosecution, uh, police, lawyers and that, who work for prosecution. So it's with... almost like a conflict of interest, isn't it? Of course, yeah. So they, not... they, if 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 they overturn things, yeah. they're actually highlighting their own of shortfalls. Course. Yes. Is that a good place to leave that? Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, I was just going to turn around and say, well, I Go don't on. know how many exhibits were there in that case of of stones, but if these exhibits are available still, they should test them. They need to test them, and then. If it all comes back saying, well, we haven't got his ear, then they need to look at that statement. That statement needs to be looked at, analysed, minutely for this kid. Because you know what? If a kid hasn't done it, he needs justice. You can't get get your life back. You know what I mean? But give him a fucking, give him some, some kind of life. Let him out and give him some kind of life back. Because what? He's only got his sister. he probably got support. But he'll struggle. You know what I mean? Watch this space then. Yes. Ray Gilbert. Cheers, Sam. Thank you very much. That's um, okay. We'll be back soon, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al City. Yeah, Al City. <laughs> <laughs>